Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, you know, I think we want to take the next step. Uh, that's, you know, that's the biggest thing, and that's something that not just us as a coaching staff has talked about, but also, you know, this leadership group, these returning players, and these new guys that are, that, you know, have come in, same thing. You know, they came here for that reason. And, um, you know, just really looking forward to, to getting going. Um, you know, some things that are different about this team, uh, I think, you know, we're going to be offensive again like we were last year. Um, feel really good about, you know, kind of um, really one through probably 15. Um, you know, so some tough decisions for me to make uh, on the lineup day in and day out, which is, you know, which is a good thing. Um, you know, it means we're doing our job in recruiting and our guys are doing a good job of uh, developing and preparing themselves day in and day out. So we're in a good spot. Um, I, deeper on the pitching staff, uh, really feel good about our, you know, starting pitching on the weekend, uh, which last year was a struggle, <clears throat> especially in the back half of the weekends and feel really good about our bullpen as well with some depth there. Um, and just more depth, I would say as well, like feel really good about some young guys that we have that have a chance to be big time contributors moving forward, but we'll see some time this year and are ready to step in if, if the need arises uh, in 2024. So excited to get going. Coach, you mentioned that pitching staff and, you know, maybe it was, it was a little bit of a bumpy ride there at stretches last year. Mm -hmm. Give us some names that you've brought in. I know you've already got the returning All-American and preseason All-American and Garrett Arredondo, and then another returning All-American and Dylan Blomquist. Give us a couple more names that, you know, didn't maybe weren't even on the team last year, or maybe have stepped it up in this off season that you're looking for for a big year. Yeah, I mean, you know, some of the names you didn't mention. Logan Henderson had a very good end of the season last year. We're looking for big things from him this year. Julio Garcia. Uh, kind of got thrown in the fire as a freshman last year. Pitched a lot of really big innings in some big situations. Uh, looking forward to what he can bring us out of the bullpen this year. Nick Niebuhr, uh, who you know has been in our program for a long time and is coming back off of uh, some arm stuff last year, is as healthy as ever. Uh, has had a really good preseason. Excited to see what he can bring us out of the bullpen. Those are some really good pieces. Uh, and then some of the guys that we brought in, Nate Campbell from Galveston. Uh, he's going to you know start for us on Saturday, game two on the weekend. Excited to see what he can do. He's had a, um, you know, set out this fall, uh, trying to get some some arm health back to, to where he needed to be, but is in a really good spot. Has looked good these first three weeks in the spring. Um, so excited to see what he can bring us. Raleigh Hector uh, will start game three for us. Uh, transfer from he was at A and M and then Louisiana Tech. Um, he's been you know big time for us. Uh, what, probably one of our better arms you know throughout the fall and spring has really earned his spot in that rotation. Um, you know, he's a guy that's been in some big moments as a player throughout his career already. Uh, I think he's, you know, nothing's going to be too big for him. Uh, I'm excited to, to see him go as well. And then, you know, still bouncing around what we're going to do in game four. Uh, you got Miles Clack, who started a lot of games for us last year, that's in the mix for that. Wyatt Wick from Galveston College. Uh, Colby Parker from TJC, who was a good, you know, weekend starter for them last year. So a lot of really good options. Uh, and then a couple of young freshmen as well. Um, and, and then a sophomore transfer too. And Nash Villegas from Corpus Christi, he's a guy that we'll use out of the bullpen. Big, huge, hard thrower. Um, has developed a slider with Coach P. Mack over the fall. Excited about what he's got in front of him. Uh, and then the two freshmen, Will Johnson and uh, Josh Pelfrey. Uh, I think, you know, look to see some things out of them. And then there's other guys in there too. You know, Bryson Adair's looked really good these last uh, couple weeks. Um, so, and there's probably other names I'm forgetting. You put me on the spot and made me say names. But, um, man, a really deep pitching staff. We're excited about it um, and excited to, to see those guys face somebody other than our hitters. So, Coach, you know, the hitting, you know, you guys top five offense last year, top ten you know, across Division two and – just about every offensive category you can imagine. You lose one of the most storied players in this program's history in Jordan Gokenauer. Carson Cox departs. Eddie Ortiz, your starting shortstop, he departs as well. But you guys kind of reloaded, really. I mean, you brought back a ton of players, Ochoa, Bedgood, Mason, you know, some top mm -hmm. LSC players. But then you guys reloaded. Give us some offensive names. Yeah, um, on the, you know, as far as guys coming in, you know, at shortstop, Jordan Ardoin, um, he's been playing for, you know, four years. He's, you know, been starting at shortstop at LSU Alexandria, finished up his degree program there, um, and then, you know, had uh, wanted to get into a master's program, and, and they don't have one there, obviously. I've got some history there. Coach Gotro is the head coach over there who was here with us for a little while. He was 
part of my first recruiting class in Alexandria, and he's the head coach there now. And so we're able to get Jordan in, um, pretty seamless transition. He's played for somebody who played and coached for me um, for the last four years of his career. So, uh, you know, he's he's going to be a big piece for us. Um, <clears throat> Kyle Atkinson uh, from Texas State has had a really good uh, spring going into the year. So excited about what he can give us. Ethan Menard uh, from BRCC um, is going to maybe catch a little bit for us and hit. Monray Vanderwall um, from uh, Lamar is a uh, has had a really good last week or so, really started to turn the corner. Um, and then, you know, obviously all the guys that we have returning. So, um, and I'm sure there's some in that mix I forgot as well. Some young guys too in that mix, um, Connor Clark and Drew Schmidt, um, two freshmen that uh, are gonna see some time this year in some capacity and are kind of like the future of the program. Um, guys that we're looking forward to take over those roles. You know, we lose a lot of guys from this year going into next year and so, those guys being prepared to take over um, is, you know, is a big deal for us in, in, in our process as a program of trying to get to the top and stay at the top. So a lot of really exciting things, uh, a lot of depth, and uh, yeah, just really excited about you know, this, this team and excited to play somebody else. Coach, one final question here. You know, we talk about the home schedule in the Lone Star Conference and how these are series that you not, not only need to win three games, but you really need to win four to stay competitive, stay at the top of that mm -hmm. one-star conference race. How do the Pats go into opening weekend here against Oklahoma Christian and win four games? You know, we, we got to pitch it well. Um, I think that's going to be key, you know, trying to keep our, um, you know, starters pitch counts down, at least get them through four innings. Uh, this weekend I think will be big, not to have to really tax the bullpen. We'd like to keep most of those guys to, you know, three, six, nine outs max in the bullpen. and. Um, I, I said a lot of names, and so there's a lot of guys that we need to get out there that we feel really good about. Uh, but just, you know, knowing who we are offensively, I feel confident in our guys, knowing their, their identity offensively. But, um, you know, as we get into the flow of the, of, of the season and into, you know, game one, just getting off to a fast start, I think, is important. You know, last year, opening weekend, we got off to a pretty slow start those first couple games. And um, just, you know, kind of a trademark of our offense last year was, you know, once we get to the second time through the order, you know, we weren't going to let anybody stay in there for too long on the mound. And, um, you know, I think being able to have those guys prepared, it's always tough to prepare week one because, you know, Oklahoma Christians pretty much got an entirely new team. I think they returned five pitchers and almost no offense off of last year's team. And so preparing for those guys can be tough. You don't have the same amount of film. You don't have the same amount of information. You haven't seen them yourself, um, you know, and so, you know, they're a new group and they're wanting to improve upon, you know, what they did last year. And so they're going to come in here fired up and ready to get after us. And so um, we just got to play well, man. Play well, um, you know, not let the highs get too high and the lows get too low and just kind of stay, you know, level. Um, I think if we can do those things, that'll give us a chance to, to win four baseball games this weekend.